Hello, my name is Alan Ferrandis, data scientist and master student at Georgia Institute of Technology. As I stated before, a problem with current business analytics is that we tend to spend too much time on the technical part of analytics and too little time on the communication of these relevant findings and discoveries in data. This is the reason why business individuals do not understand technical experts. For that, we, data professionals, need to understand how to communicate and translate discoveries in data into business language. And for this purpose, we have a valuable tool called Explanatory Data Analysis. Exploratory data analysis is about understanding the data, what is noteworthy or interesting. Meanwhile, explanatory data analysis is about communicating these findings effectively to an audience. We have to understand that exploratory data analysis is about discovering what's in the data, a process made by a technical expert. And explanatory data analysis is about communication and it is geared towards a business audience. We need to understand how important explanatory data analysis is because without a proper communication, our work will not create an impact. Explanatory data analysis is a result of combining three skills, data, or creation of KPIs, visualization, usage of dashboards and pretentive attributes, and narratives, which is the application of storytelling. We, humans, do not understand raw data. We need to process that data and convert it into information. By grouping and aggregating this data to create metrics. If a metric is very important for a business, it is called key performance indicator. A KPI is a predefined metric to track the progress of something important for a business. For example, the cash flow, because a company might die if they don't know all the time their cash flow. All KPIs are metrics, but not all metrics are KPIs. A dashboard is an information management tool that monitors, analyzes, and visually displays the KPIs of something important for us, like a company, a department, a project, or even a car. Reports and dashboards are different. Reports show detailed data over a defined period of time. Meanwhile, dashboards are immediately actionable, only show KPIs and show data as close to real time as possible. Pre-attentive attributes are a valuable resource in data visualization. They make easier the processing of information by creating a visual hierarchy. Examples of pre-attentive attributes are color, size, or orientation. They are called pre-attentive because they are the first thing our brain pays attention to. Visualizations do not always provide context for decision making. We need the story behind the numbers. And for that story, we need a structure. The what describes the event. The so what identifies implications and the now what defines a course of action. This is an example of a chart without any context or storytelling, which is not useful for decision making. This is a typical Excel chart. If we ask ourselves, what decision can I make using this chart? Probably the answer is none. We need context for decision making. On the other hand, this is a good example of context and storytelling, helping in decision making. This is a typical line chart made in Excel. But in the upper part of the chart, we see a narrative. We see the story. The first part of the story is in blue, and it is the what. 
what the data tells us about something, something important that happened. The second part in black is about the so what, how this affects our company, our organization, or us. And the third part is the now what in red. And this tells us what we are going to do about it. What is the solution or action we are going to take? In the first chart, we couldn't make a decision because we didn't have any of those, neither a context or a story. In the second chart, we had a narrative. And this narrative used the structure of what, so what, now what. You have to note that in the now what, we can make an action. That's the decision we are going to make. Making this chart, the second chart, self-explanatory. Remember, good information in a presentation is like a joke. If we need to explain that information in the presentation, it is not that good. So let's start communicating better and connecting data with business goals by using explanatory data analysis, which is the combination of data, visualization, and narrative. <laughs>